good lady from Isiolo. What we are saying is, if you do a basic arithmetic, 3 out of 47 is smaller. It's actually 6%. Compared to 3 out of 11 is a bigger fraction. That's what I'm saying. But Mr. Speaker, that, besides, that being beside the point, let, let it be known that I'm not trying to mislead this House. I am a firm believer in equality, Mr. Speaker, that in fact, every woman has the same capacity to misconduct herself as the men. So, Mr. Speaker, this is not a question that should be viewed through the lenses of, uh, of gender. What we want to do, whether we establish a committee or whether we proceed by the, uh, the whole House, Mr. Speaker, is to find out, indeed, is it true, the allegations that have been laid against the governor. In this particular question, we are supposed to be blind. Justice is blind. We do not see color. We do not see gender. We do not see ethnicity. Mr. Speaker, we are just looking at the allegations that have been leveled vis-a-vis, -vis, uh, you know, the, the law. Mr. Speaker, I am also a firm believer that, in fact, there is no grace uh, period for misconduct. You know, the question of uh, how long it should take before you start raising these questions has been raised in the public forum. I have seen people misconduct themselves even with the oath of office when they are taking oath of office, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, Senator Mr. Speaker... May the senator be heard in silence, please. Thank you, senator Mr. Speaker. Can you proceed and conclude your contribution? Mr. Speaker, therefore, what I want to encourage this House, because I was feeling the weight of responsibility as a person who's been proposed to sit on this committee, somebody who's supposed to miss Christmas with his family. But I can see the mood in the House is that maybe all of us should miss Christmas, which is okay for me. I don't have a problem. I am just saying, Mr. Speaker, that I wish... I was not part of that committee, that it was Senator Gloria here sitting here to spend her Christmas here. But if you want us all to spend Christmas here, it is also okay, Mr. Speaker. So, in conclusion, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Senator Gloria, we are not in some market in the outskirts of Nairobi. If you need to make a point of order, you press the button. It will be upon the chair to give you the platform or to deny you the platform. Kindly proceed. Mr. Speaker, can I conclude? Uh, because we were with you here, Mr. Speaker, just a few weeks ago when there were the Yala go games going on. And it's a similar thing with the Christmas holidays, Mr. Speaker. We had problems raising quorum in this house, Mr. Speaker, if you remember. Because most of the members chose to go to Juba. We are going to have the same problem. These people are just saying here, oh, we want the whole house, we want the whole house. But we know the members of this house who are committed to come and actually prosecute matters here, Mr. Speaker. So we might have better success. Mr. Speaker, I need your protection. Mr. Speaker, I need your protection. Because this is something we have experienced, Mr. Speaker. That in Senator, fact, might... Senator Sfuna, just take your seat. Honorable Senators, it is not the wish of the chair to send any senator out of this chamber. But that's my wish, and may not necessarily carry the day today. The standing orders will carry the day today. Senator Gloria, I'm cautioning you under standing order 121. Should you proceed in the manner of proceeding, I'm afraid the standing orders may have their way. Conclude, Senator Sifun. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The point that I was making, Mr. Speaker, is previous experience has shown that, in fact, we might get a lot more work and ground covered in committee than in plenary because of the issues that I have raised regarding the question of uh, quorum. So, Mr. Speaker, to just conclude and allow my colleagues to also contribute, I rise to support this, and not because I'm a member of that committee, I would very happily cede this particular position to anybody else who wants to release me to go and have Christmas with my children. It will not be a bad thing, Mr. Speaker. I thank you. Senator Methu.